Well, 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 what is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Yuritastic, and how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing okay. I see a lot of new Tropical 6 players, and I'm very happy to see that the game is going somewhat mainstream because this game deserves a lot of love. I've been playing Tropical literally since Tropical. Then Tropical 2, 3, 4, 5, and now we're on 6. And I see you guys have been watching the guys that I put out years ago for the Tropical 6 players, but now we got new ones. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what are the most profitable industries in Tropical 6 or what are the industries that are going to make you the most money in Tropical 6. Now keep in mind before we start, while I spin this camera around and show around this island a little bit, this island was just for fun. I've done five seasons of this. Some seasons are special themed and some are not. So if you want to see a full season, there's literally five seasons you could watch. So keep in mind before we start. Some of the industries might not be in the colonial era, some might be in the Cold War era, some might be in the World War era, maybe in the modern times. I'll try not to do the modern times one, but I'm gonna give you the most simple ones. That's number one. Number two thing we're gonna focus on is industries that A, don't need a lot of resources and B, don't need a lot of workforce. For example, yes, selling ships and cars and weapons is gonna make you a lot of money in Tropical 6. But the reality is they need a lot of workforce. They need a lot of resources, materials. For example, rum distilleries are pretty, pretty, pretty good. Production value in our lifetime, $1.18 uh, million, right? A quarter, about a quarter million expenses and whatnot. That's just one of them. That's one of many. So rum distillery is the number one I always, and I will always continue recommending for you guys because it's simple. All you need is a sugar plantation. And sugar, you can sell the outside. You could use for inside the island or you can use for a rum distillery. So number one is a rum distillery. It's one of the best industries, one of the most simplest industries that you can do for your island. Number two, the cigar, the cigar industry. As you can see, $1.5 million lifetime revenue, about a quarter million once again in expenses. Now, that's again, that's just one of them. The cigar industry is a good profitable industry in Tropical 6 and one of the easiest to set up. All you need is tobacco plantations, okay? So keep in mind once again what we're talking about here. We're talking about industries that are just so easy to set up. You don't have to do anything besides plant a plantation and blah, 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 and go. If we take a look at revenue, for example, let's take a look at export. As you can see, even in the time that we're in, in the modern era, Rum and cigars are doing us a great favor here. So expenses are about 930,000. Revenue is about 1.3 million. So you're looking at about $400,000 in expense and in, in revenue a month on the island, right? So rum and cigars are very, very, very good and very easy. Number three, as you can see here, cheese. Yes, because you don't need nothing for cheese. Let me go to my cheese factory here. Now I haven't been in this island for, for a while, so I do admit I'm a little rusty where things are at, but for example, I know this is one of the newest creameries that we have. Um, all it needs is milk. So you gotta just put a ranch. And as you can see, 1.15 again, and expenses are the same, about a quarter million. Cause these all started around the same time. And you got the goats that are producing milk for us. Of course, like I said, if I was to look around, there are other ones on the island, but we're talking about rum, cigar, and the creamery, AKA the cheese factory. Number four, tourism. You need, you need people to come to your island. I mean, I have a whole like sex, small section of this island just for tourism. And you guys look at this. Almanac, revenue, revenue, tourist services, $127,000 in the last period. $127,000 on fees and on rents, which is hotels and whatnot. Now keep in mind, you need to make sure you have a somewhat decent workforce and start small, then go big. Don't just start off with the first tourism by a skyscraper hotel. Start off with a little economy hotel, then a hotel, and et cetera, so on and so forth. As you can see, my island is literally littered with, with tourist attractions almost everywhere and hotels. I mean, there are sections, obviously. I try to zone them to, sp to fit specific ones here and there and whatnot. All these tasks I'm not worried about again because like I don't really play this island anymore. I use it more of an experimental ground now, as you can see. But um, so tourism is the number four. But tourism might not really kick in till around the uh, Cold War era. Okay, like we talked about at the beginning of the video, we're talking about simple industries 
and not all of them are gonna be in the same age or the same um, era, if you will. Number five, bureaucracy, politics. Now these are really three different things that we can all gather up in one. Now again, this might be in a Cold War era. Obviously, you're not gonna have a bank in the Colonial era. We know that, but let, let's take a look at this. Again, once again, revenue. And we take a look at revenue. We take a look at the miscellaneous section. $181,000 combined with wealth tax, advertisement, interest, convict labor. Uh, we're not gonna really focus on tourist fees because we covered that or transport because it's really insignificant. But if you take a look at the wealth tax, approval rating is about 69%. Oh, well, they can be mad. They can be mad. You got an island to run here, ladies and gentlemen. I know you're new to this game. Sometimes you got to put your dictator shoes on and not be a, so democratic. Hey, man, you're wealthy. Cool. Let me get some money off of you. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to do that. So the political industry, quote unquote, is a fifth one I can give you. You really need nothing besides population, right? Obviously, don't piss people off. We're going to have military coup after military coup or uprising after an uprising. Try to keep it legit. Try to keep it civil. But that's what it is. Now, once again, to wrap this up, these are industries that are just good to go. Nothing crazy. I know I see people in the comments and other videos be like, no, he's wrong. Shipyards are more. Vehicle factories more. Weapons fa You're absolutely right. But in order for us to even get anything like that going, this is not off the bat thing. I need steel and I need rubber. I need electricity. That's another thing I forgot to mention with these things. I need mining factories. I need something to even process the rubber. There's so many things that go into this. For example, you take a look at a plastic plant. You need the oil and you need corn just to produce plastics. So these are all good. I am not telling you do not do these big industries. Do them. But not off the bat. Not if you're new to the game. Start off small. Build your way up. And this game, you will enjoy it. And last but not least, do not listen to anybody that tells you that Tropical 6 has a right or wrong way to play it. You can play it any way you want to play it. You want to be dictator? Go for it. You want to be a republic? Go for it. You want to be a democ democracy system? Go for it. You want to be a military dictatorship? Go for it. Matter of fact, I've made like different seasons based on different themes. So whatever you want to do, go for it. I'm glad to see more Tropical 6 players come in here if you like tropical six stuff you are truly in the right channel one of the best channels for tropical six and i'll give myself a pat on the back for that i don't care how that sounds i've been playing this game for so long i know the ins and outs of it but that being said ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this episode if it didn't help you out help me out by hitting the subscribe button and the like button and if you have any questions feel free to join my discord with that being said my name is your test and i am out see you guys